how to randomly spawn coins in Unity. Follow these steps. Create an empty object. Name it spawn object. Then create a cylinder. That cylinder will be resized and rotated to look like a coin. Like this. Add a material. The material will be applied to the coin. It will be yellow colored, just like this. Drag it to apply. The next thing you should do is to drag the prefab to the folder. And after adding the prefab you need to add the script. In the c -sharp script define a public game object coin object. I will rename it to coin prefab, it doesn't matter. Then in the update define this if input get key down key code space. This checks if the player jumps. Vector 3 random position new vector 3 random range. The random range defines some random value The random range is from minus 10 to 11, or it can be any other value. After this line of code, add the instantiate, which defines the new prefab that will be randomly generated within the random position and identity. Save the script and go back to Unity. Make sure you drag the coin prefab before testing. As you can see, the player jumps and the coins are generated. I don't want that. I want the coins to be generated after the player collects them. So, this thing should be done. If other game object tag is equal to player, then copy the line of code I defined before and surround them with comment brackets. I don't like these simple cylinders that are rotated 90 degrees. Let's change that. Download the FBX file of the coin. Link in description. Drag it to the Unity scene and move it, just like this. And add the spawn coin script. Instead of using a random game object, I will bring the script to the coin instead. These static coins look kinda boring for most players. Make sure that you already have the reference to the coin prefab instead. And instead of instantiating the game object, you need to instantiate the coin object defined in the script below. This line of code tells the coin to rotate on Y axis. In order to make the coins rotate, you need to drag the first prefab to the second prefab, which is the copy of the first one. But you should also define the second prefab, so let me explain it in the script. The script should instantiate the reference of the game object, because destroying an asset disables the script functionality, and if you destroy something, then the next instantiated object won't work properly. Coin3D prefab contains the reference of Coin3DX and vice versa. If you collect the coin, it's respawning and it's rotating. It's working. In the next videos, I will explain how to add a scoring system that will display the score on the screen. I will also finish the 3D platformer series as soon as possible. Stay tuned. Goodbye.